In this video, we shall be looking at factorization. As you know, we treated a topic factorization in our GSS 1 and GSS 2. Also, we shall be revising removing of brackets from algebraic expressions. Let's take a look at 2 into bracket 3x minus z. What does this mean? It means 2 is multiplying 3x minus z. In doing this, we multiply 2 by what we have in the back rate, which gives us 2 dot 3x. My dot here is representing the multiplication sign. So I have 2 multiplied by 3 minus 2 multiplied by z. So this gives me 2 times 3 will give me 6x minus 2 times z. You give me 2z. So I have my answers to be 6x minus 2z. Also, let's take for the second example 2p r into bracket a plus b. Here, what do we do? By opening the bracket, we multiply 2p r by what we have in the bracket 1 by 1. So I have 2p r dot here, that's 2p r multiplied by a plus. 2p r multiplied by b. So I have my answer to be 2p r a plus 2p r b. So that is how to open brackets in algebraic expression. Can you see it's pretty simple? It's not something hard. So also, this will lead us to factorizing binomial expression. So we are going to be factorizing binomial expression. So what is a binomial expression? It is simply an expression with two terms. You can write it as a product of its factors. For example, I have 4yz. So what are the, the factors of 4yz? So I have the factors of 4yz to be 4 multiplied by y multiplied by z, which will give us 4yz. Also, let's look at 21y raised to power 2. I have 21 to be... 3 multiplied by x. Sorry, I have 21 to be 3 multiplied by 7 by y by y. So this will give me 21y squared. So that is what I mean by a binomial expression. So also, for example, let's factorize the following binomial expressions. So I have one, I have 9a plus 3b, and the second one is z raised to power 2 plus 9yz. So how do we do this? So for 9a plus 3b, I have the factors of 9a to be what? So 3 times 3 will give me 9. So I have 3 multiplied by 3 multiplied by a, which will also give me 9a. And let's do the fact, check the factor of 3b. So I have the factors of 3b to be 3 and b. So I have 3 multiplied by b, which will give me 3b also. So here we are to find and to check for our highest common factor, which we did also in our junior classes. So you can check GSS1 and GSS2 for SC Health to revise also. So here, our highest common factor here is 3. Can you see 3 is common to both factors? So, what do we do next? So, from 9a plus 3b, I have 3 halves, which is the common factor to be halves. So, what do I do? I have to multiply 9, I have to divide 9a by 3. So, I have 9a over 3. So, I have 3 here, 1, 3 here, 3. So, I'm left with what? 3 here. So, that would be our first terms in the brackets plus so i have 3 b divided by 3 again so i have 3 here 1 3 here, one so i'm left with b so we have plus b so my answer will now give me 3 into brackets 3 here plus b also if you open, open this one up you have 9 a plus 3 b so that is factorizing the binomial expression so example 2 it says z square plus 9 y z so, what are the factors of z square? I have z multiplied by z, which will give me z square. Also, for 9yz, 9yz will give me 3 multiplied by 3 plus y times y 
times z which will also give us 9yz so what is the ac here so what is common to both you can see that z is common to both so we just choose one so i have my common factor here htf to be z so from here from z here we have z square over z which will give me z here one z here you cancel one of the z's so i'm left with one z so i have z into brackets z plus then you have nine y z divided by z z cancels out z can you see that so i'm left with nine y so i have nine y in the bracket also so i have my answer to be z into bracket z plus nine y i hope you get that so in our next class we shall look at other aspects of factorization.